Hello everybody, I am Dave from Dino PC, and today we have got a real treat for you. We're going to be showing the best of the best of our systems. So this over here is our BattleBox GS1 system. Basically this has got two 980 ties, an X99 chipset in a pretty damn cool 600 case. And yeah, pretty much will run anything you want in 4K and VR as well. So over here we've got our GS3 system. This is kind of the base battle box. We'll still run 4K, still run VR. It's got a 917. We're actually giving this uh, one away with this brand new spec alpha case, which we will have a little review coming out for very, very soon. But the best system that we can possibly build here is known as the T-Rex. And this is it. <laughs> this bad boy comes with not one, not two, but three Titan X's and a 590X. Uh, this, that's not actually, it, that's, it's over there. It's this, this, this is the T-Rex right here. This is the best that we can build. Three Titan X's, X99, 64 gigabytes of RAM. Pretty much anything that you'd really want to kind of have in a PC that can do whatever. And uh, we'll also be doing a review of this very soon as well. But the thing that we want to show you guys is right over here. So this is the little brother of the T-Rex that you saw just over there called the White Rex. It's got four 980 Ti's, an i7 6700K which has been overclocked to 4.7 gigahertz and 16 gigabytes of RAM just to kind of throw it away. And you can see it's performing heaven benchmark right now doing just a mere 240 frames a second currently. Um, yeah, we'll see the benchmarking on that in just a second, but I thought we may as well show you exactly what we can do with this beast on some certain games. So let's get to it. So guys, if you uh, didn't know what Heaven Benchmark is, Heaven Benchmark is an artificial graphics test that we use and loads of people use to determine how good your PC is. A good score is around 1,500 to 1,800. That's a good score. A great score would be about 2,100. Um, and as you can see, the score for the uh, White Rex is 6,631 with an average FPS score of 263.2. So it, 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 it does do it quite well, I have to say. But uh, let's do some real world tests. So here, as you can see, we're playing Fallout 4 on 4K. Everything's ultra, um, one, uh, everything's high, all the NVIDIA settings are cranked to max. So as we come into the wastes at nights, we've got, we're running at about 55, 56 frames a second. Remember, this is everything maxed out. All of the NVIDIA settings, all of that stuff is here. It's beautiful, it's wonderful. I've never played proper 4K until now, but four-way SLI apparently is the way to go. But uh, let's let's start cranking up the tests a little bit. 49, 55 FPS is good, but let's let's see what we can do on just calls. Three. So here we are playing a bit more Just Cause on the 4K screen here, running at only a minor 79, 80 FPS as you can see on the screen. If you want to pan over there, have a look. We'll have some gameplay up for you as well, don't you worry about that. But yeah, this 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 computer pretty much does do the beastie of the beastie things. Um, and there's a lot of explosions and stuff going on right now, which is obviously pretty damn cool, the fact that we can do explosions and all that. But the ultimate test is with a bad game, a game that refuses to work properly um, unless you just have the most beastly of hardware to push through it. And I think the best thing that we can show for you now is the brand new Batman game called Batman Arkham Knight. So welcome to Batman Arkham Knight, probably one of the hardest games to run on PC. If you remember, there was loads of stuff in the press about how WB haven't been doing a good job keeping up with optimization. And while there have been some fixes, it has remained vastly the same. But as you can see here with 4980 ties pushing out against an i7 6700K, it's not really much of a problem at 4K ultra settings on everything, including all of these special NVIDIA settings cranked up to the max as well. We're getting between 40 and 60 frames a second on Batman Arkham Knight. So that's just what we kind of wanted to show you here, what we do at Dino PC, just make some absolutely amazing tech and things like that. Leave a like on this video if you'd like to see what we can do with the real T-Rex with three Titan X's. See you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Um, well, uh, everything's high, all the NVIDIA settings are cranked to max and uh, as you can see it's running at a full 60 frames a second although this is a loading screen we we'll probably should wait until the loading screen <laughs> <laughs> 16 gigabytes of VRAM uh, six, with 60 <laughs> with 16 gigabytes of VRAM no <laughs> let's do that one again <laughs> 59 55 FPS is good but let's let's see what we can do on just cause 3.1 
surround sound. <laughs> Uh, Dave, that's that's not the T-Rex. Where is the T-Rex? Uh, that's that's the T-Rex. Yeah, much much better. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> <laughs>